it looks like the party is at this currently abandoned tent site because the only thing they left was a cooler and I'm guessing underneath that bag is a stereo and two giant speakers. San Jose. Yesterday it pretty much cooperated. We only had a couple of little showers. We're in San Antonio. We are not in San Jose. We're going to Mission San Jose. Sorry, that was a middle aged gaff. We're going to the Mission San Jose. We are in San Antonio. It's another cloudy day in San Antonio. So we're gonna stop somewhere and find a pedestrian pedestrian and ask them if they say, do you know the way to San Jose? They'd have to actually be an old pedestrian to even know what we were joking about. I don't know any of the other words, so I can't even really... Isn't but, it like, la so, la 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 <laughs> It's like, do you know the witch is and say We both agree that the roads in San Antonio are hard to navigate. We have lived in much bigger cities. We live near Manhattan, we live near Atlanta. I'm used to old convoluted roads, but there's just something about the roads here that you are never quite sure where you're going. And something I noticed last night, which I wasn't sure if it was gonna be everywhere, so I'm trying to pay closer attention today. It seems like the lines on the road are all um, hard to see. I don't know if it's something to do with the materials on the road, the weather here, if they just haven't spent the money to have the lines repainted, I have no clue. You don't realize how much you use lines as a reference to where you're going, particularly when you're in an area you don't know, until you're on roads where there aren't any. The visitor center at the San Jose Mission is closed. There are still park rangers on site to answer your questions. They were very helpful. They gave us maps of both this mission and also the National Park Service map of all of the missions because I didn't realize they're run by the National Park Service. National Park Service usually does a great job and this was no exception. There are still restrooms open and of course the ever important gift shop. If you start at the San Jose Mission, most of the other locations are south of you and everything is south of downtown. North of us, there's one other mission called Mission Concepcion, and that is where we are headed next.
exactly what you see in the entire church here. South, east, and west. And that no cross sits directly on top of We just had a really interesting visit at Mission Concepcion. There was a gentleman inside the church. I don't know if he's a volunteer or he just is hanging around. He did not have National Park Service uh, uniform on, but he pretty much gave us a history of the entire area and the mission. He claimed to be a direct descendant of one of the Native American tribes that was here when these missions were founded. So he was fantastic. If you happen to go into the church and there's a short little old gentleman in there giving a talk, you might want to stop and listen for a few minutes. We're going to head into downtown now. We have appointment uh, tickets at the Alamo. We're going to grab some lunch first and then go see the Alamo. One of the most amazing things about Mission Concepcion is constructed in such a way that on the feast day of the Assumption, if you're Catholic, um, you would know that is, the light comes in through the windows in such a way that it illuminates the floor and then illuminates a portrait of Mary, just her face. The whole thing takes about 30 minutes where the beams of light come through and illuminate it perfectly. So if I can find a video that he showed us online, I'm gonna link it down below. End of day two in San Antonio. San Antonio is a beautiful city. I think I said yesterday, if I didn't, the Riverwalk is absolutely spectacular. I would recommend visiting the city for that alone. The architecture in the rest of the city is also great. Walking around and seeing the historic Market Square, all of the old buildings. It's just a really nice, seemingly clean and safe city. The missions are fantastic. They're run by the National Park Service, so entrance to all of them is free. They're in varying states of size and scope. They're, some of them have more original pieces left than others, but they're all, the ones that we went to anyway, were really beautiful. And I've seen and, and read that the rest are just as beautiful and they all have reasons to visit, even though some are smaller than others. As far as the Alamo goes, by the time I got there, the weather had turned, had dropped like 20 degrees and was windy and rainy. So I don't think I got to explore the grounds of the Alamo as much as I would have liked to. After having visited the other missions, the actual church part of the Alamo was very underwhelming just because it hadn't apparently even been completed at the time of the Battle of the Alamo. I can't remember, did they say it had never even been used as a church? I think probably. I think it might may have never been used as an actual church, so the inside was plain and it looks like they're doing a lot of renovation and, and restoration to the facility itself. So. You couldn't see very much but of course because of what happened there it's worth visiting and it's an amazing story of the people who were there the grounds themselves are beautiful 
Across the street from the Alamo, it's very touristy. There's like a strip of gift shops and even a Ripley's, believe it or not, which usually only see in extremely touristy areas. So it's sort of funny that because the Alamo is there, this extremely like cheesy block has sprung up. But so it would be fun for your kids to go to. In fact, I was thinking earlier that all of the missions would be a fun place to visit with your children because the grounds are so open and it's free. So if you have a bunch of kids, it doesn't cost any more. And they could run around and play cowboys and Indians or whatever the heck the kids do these days. They probably just want to sit there and look at their iPads. But when our kids were little, it would have been a fun place for them to visit. I'm really happy that we came to San Antonio. We've had good food here. We've learned a lot of history and everybody's been really friendly and it was really, really beautiful. Tomorrow we get up, maybe not quite so bright and early because we don't have a very long travel day tomorrow. We just are driving to Fort Worth, which I think without towing would be about four hours. So with towing, it might be about 14 hours. We're not sure. So we'll see you then from another city in Texas. Until then, good night. Wait, one more thing. We went to Whataburger because I had heard that some people prefer that to In-N-Out Burger. We'll all give you our quick review of that. My quick review is that the burger is way more of a fast food style burger than In-N-Out, but I actually enjoyed it more. The fries, 100%, one, 10 million percent better than In-N-Out Burger. So if you're looking for good fast food fries, go to Whataburger. They're kind of like McDonald's style fries. I would say the burger at Whataburger is kind of like a Whopper, but with mustard instead of mayo from what I could tell. So I would, I definitely prefer the In-N-Out burger, I think, but it's not a bad burger at Whataburger. And the fries, like 10 million times better because they're pretty much McDonald's fries, but it's like a little less salty, a little more potato-y, but otherwise very good. Whataburger. Is that your review? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a, not quite up to a uh, Whopper. No, similar, but the, bur the bun was way better than a Whopper bun these days, though, in yeah. my opinion. Fries, very, very good. I would say a better experience than In-N-Out Burger, but the burger wasn't as good as In-N-Out Burger, but the fries were a lot better, and also the drink was a bigger drink, so... And they were allowing us to get our own refills yes, for some reason, right, which right, was great. Right. In-N-Out Burger was, was a bit of a pain in the butt, to be honest. All right, so since I forgot what a burger, we'll do some product placement. What a burger. What a burger. And on that bombshell, see you tomorrow in Fort Worth. Good night.